Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the Raspberry Pi 4 8GB. So let's get started. So before we begin, I do want to thank Micro Center for sending me over this board. They've been a huge help to this channel as far as sending me components like this, as well as the Raspberry Pi camera module. And everything we talk about in this video will be linked down in the description below. Not only that, they've been a real big hero on this channel recently because they are sending me over this mouse pad. So that way you guys could stop complaining about how old and dirty my old mouse pad is. So I want to thank them for that as well. Moving on, we do have a lot to talk about today, so let's get started. Now recently, Raspberry Pi has been stepping up their game with their hardware department. Not only did they just recently release the camera module, they now have an 8GB model of the Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is almost identical to the Raspberry Pi 4GB, 2GB, and 1GB, except for this little component where you can see a little smiley face next to the USB-C adapter compared to the 4, 2, and 1. Now the 4, 2, and 1 do have it's like a serial number that you could define the difference between, but I can't remember those numbers for it. Yeah, I, I can't. But at least this, I could tell the difference between the 8 and the 4. Along with releasing this new board, they also released a brand new operating system called Raspberry Pi OS. So no longer will it be called Raspbian, it's Raspberry Pi OS now. And uh, the main difference is, is that it has 64-bit support. Now it's still in its beta phase, so it's like half half of 64-bit applications and half 32-bit applications built in but they're slowly migrating everything over to 64-bit this way we can utilize the full 8 gigs of ram now i've tested both the operating system on this 8 gigabyte module and everything is pretty much the same other than the fact that they added magnifier and they added a bookshelf which is an application that they recently installed so you can read their magazines for free another thing that they did introduce is a new firmware that allows you to boot directly from usb 3.0 which is something i will be testing in the future and i want to get benchmarks and everything so that video will be coming soon as well one thing i do gotta mention is that I tried overclocking to 2 gigahertz on their new Raspberry Pi OS and it did not work. But slapping in the old Raspbian with the updated kernel, I was able to get 2 gigahertz. So it's not the fact of the CPU, it's something within their kernel modules that don't allow the 2 gigahertz overclock. Moving on, if you notice, I wasn't on Discord that much over the weekend and that is because I've turned the 8 gigabyte module to my primary desktop for the weekend. I honestly gotta say, trying to use more than 4 gigs of RAM on a light OS like this is very, very hard. I had to actually open maybe about 30 to 40 tabs and some other applications just to get it to that threshold. And honestly, for a desktop replacement, the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte module has a lot of headroom compared to the 4, but realistically, it's 4 is actually enough because of the light OS. Now, I haven't tried any other operating systems with this yet, like Ubuntu 64-bit. Now, moving on to should you upgrade the board. One of the things uh, I don't know if you guys knew is that the pricing has changed. Now, you can get a Raspberry Pi 4 32 gigabyte for $35, while the four gigabyte is $55 and this brand new eight gigabyte is $75. So if you are coming from a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, moving on to the eight gigabyte module, I will highly recommend because you're actually future proofing yourself. You're giving yourself a little bit more headroom. You're paying that little extra for it, but again, it's future proofing yourself. Now, if you're on a four gigabyte model already, um, not really. You don't really need to upgrade because the four gigabyte is more than enough, honestly, as far as like desktop replacements. But then again, if you know you need to use a lot of Docker containers or server components and you need that headroom of the eight gigabytes, why not? Now, what I see myself using this for the eight gigabyte model is compiling. Uh, I, I compile a lot of stuff and currently I use a Kados because of the amount of RAM that I can get from a Kados. But now with eight gigs of RAM on the Raspberry Pi 4, and I usually compile stuff for the Raspberry Pi anyway, now I'm able to directly compile it from the Raspberry Pi without having to use swap or anything. Eight gigs of RAM gives me a lot of room to compile everything that I need. In conclusion, Raspberry Pi OS is still in beta, so there is gonna be a lot of bugs with it. Uh, I will leave a link to all the, the issue board on GitHub so you can see what the problems are and everything so you can follow along. Do I recommend buying it? Like I said, if you're coming from an older model like a Raspberry Pi 3, highly recommend it. But if you're already on the Raspberry Pi 4 platform with like two or four gigs of RAM, chances are you might not need it yet. 
So you could probably hold that off until a little bit later, unless you know you're doing a lot of Docker or Plex or something that requires a lot of RAM. Then yeah, I mean, might as well upgrade it. Like me, I would have upgraded because I need to use it for compiling. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.